Hello, my name is Michelle and I might have a lip product problem. Hello everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome back to Mondays with Michelle on Life from the Fish Tank. Today, I thought that we would do a different sort of video. I really need to go through my lip products. I have way too many here for any regular person. I don't wear a lot of them so I really need to go through it and I thought today would be a good day to just sit down and film it. I hope you guys like it. I hope I'm not the only one with a little bit of a, a problem here. So I'm going to go through them one by one, talk about what I like or might not like and hopefully pare this down a lot. So without further ado, let's get this started. All right, I took my watch off so that I can do a little swatching for you. But the first one I'm going to do is it's the Revlon 674 in Coral Berry Cream. I don't use a lot of lipsticks and the ones I bought were typically, no, really all of them I bought are ones that I got in Germany. Here I live in Southern Arizona and it's hot the majority of the year so I don't like having them in my purse just in case there's a little melting problem or sometimes I forget it in my car and it deadly does melt. I may have lost a couple that way so I have several lipsticks like bullets but I don't wear them a lot but this is the Revlon Coral Berry and it's very pretty pretty. One thing you will notice is that I wear a lot of nudes. I try to wear brights. I don't... It's hard for me. It is really hard for me. So I have this one in a bullet. I have this one from L'Oreal Collection Privé by Julianne. It's Julianne's Color 620 Nude. I think this is a really pretty pink color. I don't, I'm not really a pink person, so I definitely, I'm not going to be keeping this one. Next is another one like this, and it's 013 Smoked Peach Matte. I also don't typically like a lot of mattes because they dry my lips more than I like, but that is a pretty color. Hmm. I'll have to see about that one. The next one is, I did just get this while I was here. It's the Revlon Shine 014 Glaring Coral. This isn't, because you look at this and you think that it's going to be very, very bright, but it's not. It's it's very very nice and the shine on it is very pretty I think I, I definitely like this one over the coral berry so I'll put that one and now I have two bullets I also have this one that is L'Oreal Plump 104 Guava Plump. I thought this was such a cute color and perfect for spring. I'm not going to wear it. I thought I had another shine. Maybe I did and I lost it. But this is a plumping and you can definitely feel the burn of this. So I don't really think I need plumping in my lipstick so yes if you really if you need plumping and you like that kind of thing this packaging is so pretty and I love this color it's so nice and shiny but it's it burns and I don't like it so 
that's the reason why I'm going to be passing that one on. Let me see. Another bullet is the... Who is this from? I don't know. Maybelline 550 Honey Pink in Matte. Ooh. That's very nice too. But I don't need... All of them, and they're all in the very pinky nude family. So, if you haven't noticed, I really like that. Okay, I like this one more, so I'm not going to keep this. So, I think that is all of my bullet lipsticks so I'm gonna wipe these off and start on the next one. Oh, I should have added this one on there a chapstick hydro hydration so I'm going to get the other lipstick type things that aren't glosses so I have these these, I really, really like the Revlon. I don't even know what they're called, but it comes in these packages. And I have oh, 705, oh my goodness, my eyeballs. I can't even read that. All right, 705, 710, and 700. So I'm gonna go in order. These feel so nice on the lips. Bit light maybe for me and then 705 is this nice I think more of a fall well yeah more of a fall color there and then this one is 710 and it's more of a like an everyday nude color so I think that this one's too light for me this one's nice but it reminds me a lot of the rum raisin one that I'm keeping and this one it's a different formula so I'm gonna keep this one maybe keep this one mm -hmm. this one gun maybe fall now this I really like the Too Faced Sweet Peach cream peach oil lip gloss I have it in Papa don't preach this smells so delightful if you like peaches oh, and the color is so nice I am definitely keeping this one I actually wear this one quite a bit and it's nice and shiny so I do like this one a lot and then I have these two Chapstick Total Hydration, ew, okay. Well, this is what happens when you leave it in the car or in my purse, so I'm definitely going to be tossing this. I don't even know if I use this. It doesn't look like it, so I'm just gonna swatch it real quick, and then I'm gonna throw this away, because this is kind of gross. So, yeah. Chapstick Total Hydration, but if I just want like a balmy thing, the Sephora Watermelon, can tell I've used quite a bit of this and it doesn't have a really color but it adds a nice hydration smoothness so definitely I recommend this I have another one I got the coconut but I don't know what I did with it oops and then another one a lot like that this stays in my purse it's peach pout by pixie and it has this vitamin C center of it in the middle and then a, just a tad bit of color. So you can't even really tell much of it, but I like having this in my purse in case I want a little bit of extra hydration and vitamin C for my lips while I'm out in the sun. So yes, I have that one. I did just get this one by NARS. It's the... Afterglow Balm 
and orgasm again it doesn't have too much of a color but it's very nice and balmy very good for summertime here in Arizona and I did just get this so I'm definitely gonna be keeping that and yes so cleaning it off and we will get on another set now we're getting into the glasses I really like glasses a lot so first one up is the Fenty Beauty this is a gloss balm in fussy I did just get this so I'm going to be keeping it but just to show you it's a nice kind of thicker color it's nice and peachy or pinky and yes a lot of people love this I also got um, it came in like a little package it had the Fenty Beauty the NARS the Too Faced um, Patrick Tall and this Lancome Juicy Tubes it came in a little like sampler thing from Sephora so if you're interested in it get that I know I'm not going to use this it's a Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme I will be giving this to a friend of mine who likes to have plumper lips so I'm not even going to open this up but in the same thing it came with the Patrick Ta this is a sample size so it's major glow lip shine and she's expensive and this is a little bit this is definitely going to be a topper for me it's clear but it has a lot of sparkles in it and very shiny glossy all of these are gonna be very glossy so and it smells like peppermint straight up peppermint so I don't know if it's supposed to be lip plumping it does not plump my lips but it is definitely very very shiny and then this one I got the Lancome Juicy Tubes Original it's a magic spell I don't love it it's a little too I don't know thick for me and sticky and it has a sweet smell it's not my favorite I did just get it but I don't think I'm going to keep this because it's just mm, it's not my thing it's already very very sticky very sticky uh, another sticky one that I am not going to be keeping the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Lip Shine I thought this would be really really good it's in soft blush just as like an everyday but it's very sticky like um, oh, I don't know like glue it's very sticky I don't like these are sticky too but it's not I don't know there's something about this that just <sighs> I don't like and I was really intrigued by the Hydro Boost I've actually bought this twice I bought one and I didn't like it and I declared it and I thought okay well maybe it was just a one off got another one and definitely definitely not my cup of tea then I have two infallibles I keep wanting to like these I sometimes do sometimes not it's very very weird so I bought this one to go over one of the lip colors I think the smoked peach one because it's very similar in the color so you just need a little bit of gloss over top of the matte lipstick oh I should probably tell you the colors this is 415 mirror Oh, I can't even read it I am so blind okay I don't know 415 and this one is does it have oh there 505 modern mauve so I thought this was a good fall color a little bit more of a fall vibe so I will probably mm, I don't know keep this because I'm keeping the smoked peach and I bought them to, to wear together so I'll keep this one 
this I don't know. It also is very sticky, so I don't like the, the formula too much, but it is such a pretty color. I really like that color. Then I have the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in 205. So it's a very pretty nudie color. Not much, just adds a little shine. I think I'm going to get rid of this because I have this one in Rimmel and I like the formula of this one a lot more and it's mm, pretty close to the same whoa sorry pretty close to the same color but before I get to the Rimmels I also have this one Revlon in 3 nope 585 I don't think I'm going to keep this one either the applicator and it's just I don't know I don't love it and I have enough that I shouldn't keep things that I don't love. It's it's okay. It's very pretty packaging, but again, mm, I don't love it. I do love this though. It's Lancome, the Shakers, and this one is freedom of peach it does smell like peach you have to shake it up because it does separate and then it has this little applicator and you just push it in shake it and then it gets a product on here it is a lip oil so it doesn't have too much of a color but I I like having this and it doesn't melt in the sun <laughs> can you tell what I focus on for my lip products is it going to melt in the heat? Next, I have two Undone Beauties. I got these from Target, and I have three Rimmel Stay Glossy Glosses. So first is this Undone. I have two of them. This one is in 912 Clear, and this one is 913 My Own Cloud. This is very interesting. So this is clear, but it has these little nubbin things. I don't know if you can really tell that, but it's like you put it on and it like exfoliates your lips a little bit. It's very nice. So, but this one is just clear. If I can get some out. So you just put on. Um, just if I'm like out and about and I want something on or if I'm under my mask, I can put this on. And this one just has a little bit of color. It also has a little nubbin thing. So it's so unique. I've not seen anything like that before. And this one has a little bit of color for it. I'm going to keep these two just because I really like the concept and it feels very nice on the lips too. So these I got at Target so I, I, I like these, the Undone Beauty. And then I also like the Rimmel Stay Glossy, obviously. I did get this one for my birthday from a friend of mine. It is, I don't know what color it is. Okay, well, it's this color, and it's just a nice pinky gloss that you can wear over any of the lipsticks or on its own. This one is more of a peachy color. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know where the color is. Hmm. Oh, very interesting. A little bit of a warmer color there. And then I have this one that's a little bit more of a deeper pink berry color. I think that I'm going to keep this and not keep this because I like these formulas more. It doesn't, it's not gloopy. It stays okay enough I guess but I really like the colors so I'm going to be keeping these I'm doing really good 
And then last are the ones that I thought would um, stain my skin. So I wanted to save those for the end. So I have these. It's a different kind of mix, I guess. So I have this ColourPop one. It's an Aquarius. It's the Ultra Satin. I got this because of Kathleen Lights. If you watch her, she had a, oh, what do you call it? Collaboration with them. And she picked this color. I want to like it, but I don't, it doesn't look that good on me. At least definitely not as good as it looks on her. Maybe it's my skin tone. I don't know, but I just, it looks too, mm, not me. Then I have this Catrice Velvet Matte Lip Cream. And again, I don't know what color. It's made in Germany. I may have gotten this one in Germany when I was there, but I think you can buy it here in the States. This is a very similar color to that one maybe a little bit lighter. I like this formula and it's very comfortable. Mm, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. That's a nice one. And then I have the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish in Bear With Me. I think that this one, let's see, they're all very similar. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What's another one that's similar to that? This one? Oh, it's so old. It's Dreamy. It's another Kathleen Lights one from ColourPop. Yeah, see? They're all pretty much the same tone. So, again, I'm not going to keep that one. Then I have this Milani Amore Shine. Hmm. I still think this is good. Ooh. Can you see that? Light goes all the way up. This wasn't any of my favorite product and it's shiny but it's just, I don't like the way it feels so I did not like that one. The Super Stay Lip Crayon. I'm not going to keep this one for a very specific reason that I should have realized before I got it. It's uh, no, shade 15, lead the way. You have to have a lip. No, you don't. Oh, man, maybe I will keep this one then. Ooh, look at that. I thought this one was one. I have one. I don't even know where it is. Oh, my goodness. I have more lip products. I don't even know where they all are. I thought I had all of them. But I have one that... It doesn't roll up like this. It um, it's a crayon that you have to have a lip pencil sharpener with, and I just no. So ooh, I might keep this. I'm pretty sure I have this in another color as well. This was in 438. I decide and I wanted this because I wanted a bolder color and the boy said that I like this but I really like this formula it's very very nice it's a matte it's a comfortable matte and it goes on so smooth oh my goodness it feels so nice on the lips when you're applying it and not drying or anything and it's just like a wetter formula but I don't know about this color. My husband said that I look a little a little different, but I think that's because of all my other colors are very nudey, pinky coral, and this is very bright. So I'm going to keep this to wear with like a black or a all white shirt just to like bump up my thing. My husband also said that I need to wear this with more makeup instead of like a neutral makeup day. I think that he's wrong though because something this bright needs, it doesn't need any detractors at all. One I know I won't keep is this vinyl lip polish 
in, I don't know what color this is, but it's supposed to be high shine. I like Revlon lips, but they have this in a metallic. I had a metallic and I really didn't like that one. And I got the matte and I really didn't like the matte one either. But this color is again a little different for me, but I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it lays on my lips. It's very, it's a very sweet smell too, if you are into scents, but I just, it wasn't my thing. So not going to keep that. I also tried this one from Revlon. It's the Cushion Lip Tint and you, it has this little foam applicator thing that you click and then put it on. I thought this would be a different color. I'm pretty sure I have another one like this that's in a nude color. Again, I don't know where it is. It may be in my work bag or a different purse. I have no idea. I think I have like a nude one that I like more. I like the the concept and it's very comfortable, but it's this color that's just not happening for me. So if you like this type of thing, I I enjoy this um, this application and the color and everything. So and it dries down very nicely. So yes, I I like this product, just not in this color. Next, I have oh I think that's the gloss. Ooh, I should probably clean off my arm. Yeah, so you can see my arm is getting a little dark. Okay, so this is the CoverGirl Melting Pot Matte in 310 Chronicle, or wow, if I could talk, Coral Chronicles. If I remember, I like this color. It's a lot like the other ones, but this stays very nicely. And you can put a gloss over the top, and I like the color so I'm gonna be keeping that one this I got recently it's the exhibitionist by color cover girl exhibitionist lip gloss and it's in the shade 170 savory change or short change short change and it's definitely pink here I don't yeah. I don't, I wasn't a fan of this. I don't remember why, but if I just bought it and I haven't been wearing it, there must be something I don't like. It's very streaky and yeah, it's not really going to happen. Then I have the Rimmel Stay Satin color in 720 shoulder pads. Since I really like the Stay Glossy, the Stay Satin, this is comfortable. It's not a matte. I don't, I'm not a big fan of mattes, but yeah, I'll keep that one. And then I have the two Too Faced Peach Puffs. I have it in In The Flush and Velvet Rope. I got this one first. It does smell very much like peach. It has a little twisty with the puff and you put it on and I think that is so nice. I love how it feels on the lips. It's very smooth and powdery finish, but I really like, I really like these so, and this one, I know it's purple and it looks very, very bold, but when you put it on, it's, it's not. It's just a nice fall color, kind of like the rum raisin. Ooh, you know what? I will get rid of this because I like this so much more. Yes, even on the skin, just like this, it's so you can like blot it out a little bit more if you like it, and it dries very nicely. So, definitely keeping these, and that's. It. I don't know about this one. Was I going to keep this one? Let me see. Ooh, I like this formula though. Mm, Alright, I'll keep this. I've done really good. So, of the ones I'm going to keep,
not too bad. Oh, I was gonna keep this one too. Not too bad, a lot better than I was going to. These are all the ones that I am not keeping, so. Quite a few. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. I am getting rid of donating to family, friends, maybe trash like this one's obviously kind of trash. Um, some of the other ones I will see who wants them, family, friends, whatever. So 21. I'm keeping 1, 2, 3, Twenty-five, so not quite half, but this is a lot more manageable than all of this. So if you can tell, I do have a theme. I like nudes and peaches and maybe a little bit of pink. So yes, so this is my collection. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not let me know what your little problem area is do you have a lip problem too or maybe you have eyeshadows or face products what is your makeup vice what do you collect for the sake of i don't know collecting i guess i don't have any other explanation for this I'm not going I don't need this many but I love the colors and I love the formula so this is what I'm going to keep so until next time thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye